So what's it like to live in Lyon, France? Hola muchachos, it's Carlos. So I think when people think of me living here, they think of some sort of exciting out of the norm life or that's kind of a far stretch from reality, but it's just like living anywhere else really. I mean, it's no different than when I tell people from here that I'm from Los Angeles and they have this idea that I spend all my time in Disneyland and Santa Monica or Hollywood. And though that may happen occasionally, it doesn't define me as an Angelino. For the most part, we all have jobs and responsibilities to fulfill. I mean, the main difference is I have to learn the language and I have to adjust to the norms and navigate the culture and get used to the food and, you know, get used to the quirks that later have to be explained to me for my lack of interpretation skills. Ignorance. I mean, for the most part, I do mundane things. I mean, I still have to clean my place and cook my food and do my workouts and do my job and spend time with my fiance. Yes, I'm currently engaged, but I'll get to that story in a coming video. Anyway, so back to living in France. I just figured since a lot of people were sort of shocked that I suddenly left without telling anybody that I'd take this opportunity to explain myself and to share what life has been like here and to show what sort of person I am because in the end, I'm doing this for love. So I arrived here in late January and to be honest with you, I love it's a pretty cool city. I mean, it's the food capital of France. They have tons of sites, beautiful museums, and they have two rivers that go through the entire city. So there's tons of stuff to do here, and it's a beautiful place. However, I also understand from living abroad in the past in Japan that life is life everywhere. Dealing with yourself and being open to adapting and changing to your new home and culture is the most difficult part of this process, really. But that's the best part because you get to understand who you really are and in an honest way, evaluate what your personal limits truly are. Now, I know, I know some of you watching are already thinking, well, Carlos, I already know this. I'm an immigrant already. And yes, you're right, but not everybody has had that opportunity. And I can tell you from personal experience and living in three different countries that it's rarely a smooth transition because all the cultures are different and have different perspectives, no matter how close the cultures are even to your own. And that's what these videos are gonna be about. It's all about the quirks that I've had to learn and adapt to since I've been here. And I love France. I had already been here like five times, so it's not like I came to an unfamiliar place and it's different from when you visit. And to be honest, it's been a little tougher than I thought to adapt. But in that process, I've had a wonderful time discovering things I've never noticed in my previous visits. And now that I spent a little bit of time in France and I started to understand the system and the culture a little bit more, um, I've also had the opportunity to go to the doctor, you know, and adapt to the food and understand that not everybody's gonna cater to me as a foreigner or as a visitor. And also being reminded that all the conveniences we have back home don't necessarily apply to this place. I don't like you, Sundays. I'm talking about you, French Sundays. Let's just say the allure has faded a little bit. But to be honest, that fading has enhanced my experience here. And honestly, I've been very lucky because I've had the backing and support of people here. That made my life extremely easier. That's why I always say visit the place before you decide to live there. So you can make those contacts and develop the network of support you will need. Or so you don't create a false idea or narrative about what a place is. Look, it's great living here, but it's not just like Carlos just did his thing and moved abroad again and is living his dreams and is ignoring the norms. <laughs> But to be honest, it was a wonderful and unexpected opportunity that came up. And yes, as cliche as it may seem, I moved to France because of love. But also, I've always had a desire to live here since I was younger. And for anybody who knows me from a long time ago, 
even knows that for a time I even considered joining the French Foreign Legion. But now I'm here because a girl stole my heart and she keeps stealing my heart every day. And when I get to that story, I think many people will understand why I decided to take that big leap. I was just really lucky that all my stars aligned when they needed to and the opportunity presented itself. So I'm incredibly grateful. Merci, universe. For those people that really know me, they understand how private of a person I really am. So this is a very scary and terrifying process for me. I'm exposing parts of myself and my life that are generally off topic. And although I've wanted to start a channel for a long time, what's held me back has been fear. I mean, a lot of fear of exposure and you know I, I really have a very strong sense of imposter syndrome so it's tough it's scary for me so for now I'm gonna go but next time I promise I'll tell you about some funny things I've had to go through some things I've had to learn and overcome and some interesting things about France in general. I'm just gonna have to do it one thing at a time and video by video. So please submit questions below about what you wanna know about my journey so far in France, what it's like to be in Lyon, anything about Lyon, France in general, or things you're just curious about and that'll just help me guide this channel or, or where it should go and things that you wanna see or wanna learn about. I'm so curious. And I'll start creating content based on the most popular questions and suggestions. So I sincerely hope you take the time to watch and follow me to see how things turn out here in France. So take care of yourselves. Love y'all. Positive abs always. See ya. Oh yeah. Please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.